Hello everyone! Thanks for the 50 likes and 25 retweets on my Twitter on Lore Story Reveal. So I'm going to reveal my Lore Story in my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning up Google Translate. So hope you enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my main channel. Also I, have main, I also have stream channel which I don't stream at all. <laughs> But make sure you subscribe that as well, okay? Thank you, and let go! Born from an egg, I waited for my chance to break free from its hiding shell. Born out of bed, I thought of a time when I could devote myself to a solid news. I was not born of any animal though, I was a slime. I know slimes have no gender, yet I was born as a male. Anyway, I did not give birth to any animals. They were weak, even though I was more male. I knew that mucus did not have sex. Breaking out of my egg, I found myself in the city. I woke up in the village with tears in my eyes. Alone yet, I felt nothing but wanting to explore. I still feel like I don't want it anymore. I like the town, big and very populated. I like the place, it is big and crowded. So. I suppose I really was not alone. That's why I don't think I'm alone. As I was exploring the city, a man approaches me and asks me if I would be interested in an opportunity like no other. While I was wandering around the city, a man approached me and asked if I was as interested in this situation as the others. Although I was interested in what he said to me, I asked him what the opportunity was. Although I liked what they said, I asked what the opportunity was told me if I wanted to become a liberator. After that, he told me that he wanted to leave. Curious, I then asked him, what is a liberator? I asked him curiously, what is the savior? He answered, a liberator is the person who can see, fight, and talk to demons. He answered, the savior is he who can see, who can fight, who can talk to deer. He paused, looking at my reaction, which was exciting. He then smirked slightly and continued to talk. He paused to watch my moving reaction. Then he smiled slightly and continued. With your own demons by summoning them with your smartphone. You use your phone rolls to call them. I was eager to join right away. Being excited filled me and I wanted to become a liberator. I wanted to join right away. I was hurt. I wanted to be free. The man nodded at me for accepting his offer to join as a liberator and he trained me. The guy was so welcoming that he took my offer and gave me an order. I met many other liberators and became friends with them. I got to know many other corners, make friends and invited many friends. And even gained many demons as friends to summon. Mickey is here to help me at the church. Mark up for the skills that could help me level up my own skills and summons too and items that will be useful for future encounters. I also gained many experience points to help me level up since I want to slime. I could achieve that EXP and use it to my advantage. As for future meetings, when I go, I experience radiation therapy and I use it to my advantage. I felt lonelier as time went on. In time, I'm alone, singing is fun. Being a liberator was fun, but I wanted a different type of company in my life. So. I look on my phone to see what community was kind and friendly, and then I saw it. But I would love to find another company in my life that will make me happy about how good and friendly this phone community is. And I did. The VTuber community took me some time. It has taken the VTuber community a long time, but, my, but I made my own VTuber model. And I became friends with so many other VTubers. But I built my own VTUB model and make friends with other VTUB. I always felt this lonely feeling, but since this became a big part of my life, I no longer feel alone. I have best friends now and they are a massive part of my life. It makes me so happy and I will continue becoming a VTuber and making new friends for life. I never felt so alone before, but because this is an important part of life, so I am no longer alone. I now have good friends and they are an important part of my life. That's what I like. I live in Vietnam and make new friends. Whew, that one took a turn.
all right everyone thank you for listening to my road story and make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video and i'll see you soon in my next video goodbye